Hello and welcome to everyone who's joining us online this morning for the NADOC Mass here at St. Francis 2020. Before we begin this Eucharistic celebration, I would like to acknowledge the ancestral lands of the traditional custodians of the land we are on right now, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nations. As we gather on this sacred land, let us acknowledge that we are standing on country which the members and elders of the local Aboriginal community and their ancestors have been custodians for thousands of years, on which they have performed HO ceremonies, celebrations, initiations and renewals. We, we acknowledge their living culture, their spiritual relationship with this land and unique role in the life of this country. We honour the presence of these ancestors who reside in the imagination of this land and whose irres irrepressible spirituality flows through all creation. They have lived in this, the great south land of the Holy Spirit. We have been here since there was a land bridge between the mainland and Tasmania and their people walked this land bridge. They have lived here through the Ice Age. They survived the megafauna. But they have survived. They are still here today and they are the oldest, longest continuous culture in the world today. Something for all of us to be proud of. Their relationship with the land is at the centre of our lives. Their country is their mother, and the sense of their country is theirs. They are caretakers of the land and all that have been created. On your behalf, I respectfully acknowledge the traditional owners of this land. I acknowledge elders, past, present and emerging, and Aboriginal elders who may be joining us online today. And also the youth, as they hold our dreams for the future.
of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning and welcome to this special celebration in honour of NADOC Week.
Let us pray. God of the heavens, God of the earth, all creation awaits your gift of new life. Prepare our hearts to receive the word of your Son, that his gospel may grow within us and yield a harvest that is a hundredfold. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow came down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to fertility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation 
has been groaning in labour pains until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables. Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path. And the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil. And they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. And since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone, let anyone with ears listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Long, long ago, in the dreaming, a little gum tree grew up very strong. It grew bigger and bigger, and the shade from it was very nice. But it was very lonely, and it was hoping that one day it might have some friends. Sure enough, one day the first friend came along. It was a little canary who came to build a nest. Then a cicada. Then a witchetty grub. Lots of birds, even snakes and possums. The kookaburra would wake everyone in the morning. 
all who lived together said the lovely big gum tree kept them safe from the hot sun and the rains and the floods. So too, Jesus was on his own at first. But when he talked to people, they listened. No matter what colour they were, Jesus, like the gum tree, was a safe place to be together and to help each other. Black Lives Matter is the slogan that comes to mind this year for the NADOC commemoration. So does the agonising cry, I can't breathe, uttered by George Floyd in Minneapolis, USA, as he lay on the ground with a policeman kneeling on his neck for eight minutes. The policeman, Derek Chauvin, has since been charged with murder and his fellow policemen with aiding and abetting second degree murder. Black people protested against the violence all across the United States and in other countries around the world, including Australia. The protests continued unabated for a week. All this can blind us in our situation in Australia. In 1987 until 1991, we had a Royal Commission into Aboriginal Black Deaths in Custody. At the time, there were 42 deaths to be investigated. Now, nearly 30 years later, the figure has blown out to 432. This is a shameful statistic. We can hardly accuse others overseas of human rights abuses. As Jesus said, how can you say to your brother or sister, let me take the splinter out of your eye when there is a plank in your own eye? There is no desire to control force or gain control by violence with Jesus, as is the case with our black brothers and sisters by the law enforcement agencies in Australia and America. Jesus was never violent with the poor, with lepers, with marginal people. He felt compassion for them, was aggrieved, and he helped them without regard for his own safety, reputation, and good name. The 2017 Uluru Statement from the Heart referred to their Aboriginal Sovereignty is a spiritual notion, the ancestral tie between the land or Mother Nature and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples 
who were born therefrom, remain attached thereto, and must one day return thither to be united with our ancestors. This link is the basis of the ownership of the soil, or better, of sovereignty. Religion cannot... Religion can enslave us. This is not what Jesus came for. He came to set us free, to lift the burdens that oppress us, to liberate us from everything that would enslave us. The dreaming is a reminder to us of the great undying love of God for us for all ages. The great dreaming prayer will be prayed this morning. National NADOC Week 2020 celebrates <clears throat> from the 8th to the 15th of November, a new date. The November dates follow the decision by the National NADOC Committee to postpone NADOC Week from the original July dates to the impacts and uncertainty from the escalating coronavirus pandemic. 2020 NADOC Week, the poster winner, Shape of Land, was Tyrone Waigama from Perth in Western Australia. It was judged by the National NADOC Committee to have best illustrated the 2020 NADOC theme always was, always will be, recognises the First Nations people have occupied and cared for this continent for over 65,000 years. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, an abundance of God's word has been sown in our hearts. Let it now bear a rich harvest of prayer for the whole of creation. We pray for all elders guiding our communities, that they maintain their vision, wisdom, and strength to grow our young ones, so that we may take our rightful place in our country and that a treaty is forthcoming. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. 
for all the peoples of Australia that their cultures, excuse me, for all the peoples of Australia that their hearts be open and ready to preserve the livelihood of indigenous cultures and to foster an inclusive multicultural Australia whose every one is welcome. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. We pray for the courage to have difficult conversations about racism and for a better appreciation of how our words and actions, or even our silence, can impact our communities. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. We pray for our parishes, that we may cultivate welcome, extend hospitality, and encourage the participation of people of all cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For solidarity in our global human family, that we may work together to protect those who are most vulnerable and most in need those on the edges to be welcomed to our hearts for healing and justice for all those who've experienced violence and racism. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. We pray for the recently deceased and for those whose anniversary of death occurs around this time. May they enjoy the freedom and eternal glory of the children of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. By your word, O God, you made all things, and by your word redeemed us. Hear our prayers, and send us out to sow your seeds of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the glory, praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of God's holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness and life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father in heaven, you love us. You made all things. Father, you made the rivers that gave us water and fish. You made the mountains and the flat country. You made the kangaroos and goannas and birds for us. Father, you send the sun to keep us warm and the rain to make the grass grow and to fill the water holes. Father, you made us your people. Father, you called us to be your children, and we would not follow you. You sent Jesus, your only son, to be our brother and friend. He told us about you. He was born on Christmas Day. His mother was Mary. He taught the people. They listened to him. Bad people nailed him to the cross. He rose up again alive. He made us all his brothers and sisters when we were baptised. We join together now and sing. Spirit will come upon these two presents that we hold up to you. Through your word they will become for us the body and blood of your only Son, Jesus the Lord. Jesus and his friends eat together. Before he dies, Jesus takes the bread. He holds it up to you, Father. He calls you good, Father. He breaks the bread and he says to his friends, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, and we believe his word. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, and we
Then he takes the wine in the cup. He holds it up to you, Father. He says to his friends, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, and we believe His Word. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, and we believe His Word. The bread has become the body of the Lord. The wine has become the blood of the Lord. We cannot see this. By the word of the Lord Jesus, we believe it. The Lord Jesus died for us. Jesus rose again alive and went to heaven. We praise you, Father. We bless you, Father. We thank you, Father. Father, you are Lord. We praise you, Father. We bless you, Father. We thank you, Father. Father, you are the Lord Jesus comes again. Father in heaven, we give you these two presents, this living bread. It is the body of the Lord Jesus, this living wine. It is the blood of the Lord Jesus. Your Holy Spirit will make of us one mind and one heart. You call us here. We are happy with you. We will follow what you say. Soon we will eat that food, the body and blood of your Son. Then we will be of one mind and one heart. in heaven. Remember Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop. Remember all bishops and priests. Remember all the people of God, especially those who are here. Remember all your people who have died as your friends. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, almighty 
Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should yeah. enter under my Only say them and I, I shall. shall be healed. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would now like to share with you the beautiful blessing that was given by Betty Pike many years ago. It goes like this. You have it on your folders. May you always stand tall as a tree. Be as strong as the rock Uluru as gentle and still as the morning mist. Hold the warmth of the campfire in your heart and may the Creator Spirit always walk with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go out in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.